Hawkington Middle School, and welcome to this episode of HMS Today. I'm your host, Alec Brooks. Now let's dive right into an update on the Live Club, which will be starting in January. Our mission is to get 8th graders some leadership skills and get them prepared ultimately for high school, start to get their network going, show them the ropes of high school. 50 plus kids, I'm pretty sure registration is closed right now, but if you get in touch with me, I might be able to sneak you in. If you want to shoot me an email, mq at hopkinton.k12.ma.us. Well, first of all, I'm the director, so ultimately it's the best club going. What are some of our activities? Well, you have to come and find out. The juniors and seniors run the show, so they're going to dictate what activities we have. I hope that ultimately students will be more prepared for high school after attending this club, and I think they will. Uh, there's a $10 fee, and that's basically just to cover the cost of the t-shirt that you're going to get. Thanks, Mr. Keo. Coming up next, we spend a minute with Mr. Parker. I wanted to become a teacher because when, when I was younger, probably middle school age, I really loved playing games, moving, sports, anything active. I ran a lot, and I, I really loved that. It was a big part of what I was, and I'm really hoping to try to get some of that across to other people and help give them a little bit more love of being active. The favorite part of teaching is what I've started calling that aha moment, when you really see a student that just seems to really understand what you're doing and get what you're doing. I decided to teach in Hopkinton because I was very impressed with what I saw before I even started here. Uh, knowing a lot about the community and the history of this community with the marathon, I thought it would be a great opportunity and with the progressive nature of the wellness program here, it really would push me to be a better teacher. Probably one of the biggest things that I learned from the students here is patience. For hobbies, I really enjoy softball. I coach my younger daughter's travel softball team, 16U level. And I also love watching my older daughter play high school softball and hopefully my younger one playing on the high school team as well. In addition to that, I like to decorate, particularly for the holidays coming up. And I have a huge uh, yard display going on and we're actually in a contest. Good luck with the voting, Mr. Parker. And now are you ready for the question of the day? Today's is, what do you collect? We collect friends. Chromuses. We collect chromuses. I collect stuffed lobsters, true fact. I collect sour green beans. Ankies. Rocks. We collect, we collect bones. Rocks. I collect friendly photos of my friends. I collect bottle caps. I collect glasses. I collect Legos. Shoes. Shoes. Money. Monsters University action figures. I like to collect bracelets. I collect Legos. I collect notebooks from all states and places that I go to and pens as well. I collect soccer balls. I like to collect Pokemon cards. I like to collect socks. Memes, especially the dank variety. I'm Miss Gifford and one thing that I love to collect is books. I collect books of all sorts. Um, old books are my favorite, ones that have been around for a really long time that really have I think some character to them because they've been read by so many people. And I have one book that's about 200 years old and it is um, a copy of sermons from uh, Colonial America and it's really an incredible piece because so many people have looked at that over the years. And you really think, gosh, you know, how many people have been enriched by this particular piece? And what kinds of people have read this book and you know, where are they, where are they now? And it's such a fascinating sort of thing to be able to collect books from all periods, from all subjects, and having so much uh, background to them. I love doing it, and anybody, if you have old books, throw them my way, because I always have a home for anything. So that segment was 54 seconds, and Miss Gifford's answer was 58 seconds, so we had to cut it down. If you watch this episode online, you'll see her full answer. Okay, here's another favorite Fun Fact Friday. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. Did you know that the most common letter in the English language is E? E is also the most common vowel in English, followed by A. The most common consonant in English is R. And that is followed by T. That's it for today. 
Be kind to one another. Thanks, Mr. Rockwood. Now, as always, we bring you birthdays. Today, happy birthday to Luciano Duca, Aidan Cavini, and Lauren Murphy. Tomorrow, to happy birthdays to Alexander Tannenbaum. Next up, we bring you something we've talked about but never done. Get ready for a minute with HMS students. Um, I do club field hockey and I play piano. I'm on a swim team and I do peer tutoring. I'm a gymnast and I play piano and I go to math school and I do peer tutoring also. Last year we had the science project where we could do whatever we wanted. Oh yeah, the passion project? Yeah, the passion yeah, That project. was my favorite too. Um, in sixth grade we did this project with Mrs. Danielle where you could like you could create a board game or you could you could make a sculpture or something, but you could also make a board game and I made a board game and it was really cool. I would get bigger lockers. I would make all the hallways water slides. Um, I would make the halls into like streets, like there'd be stop signs and traffic lights. I'm good at math because when I was in fifth grade, my parents signed me up for math school. I feel like I'm good at being nice because I like being nice. Um, I feel